Hello and welcome. Today's project is all about recovery setbacks. And a setback is when you're moving along towards an aim, you have this goal in mind, and you slip back, you stumble backwards into your old behaviors and actions that support the old personality. Now a setback can include Googling your symptoms. It can include an episode of panic. It can include feeling depleted. You wake up in the morning, you, have a, you had a rough sleep, and then you're going through the day, and then you're entertaining negative thoughts throughout the day, and that's consuming your day, and you feel like you are not advancing towards this aim, this goal in mind. A setback can be saying something that makes you feel weak or embarrassed. It can include going many days without engaging in this bad habit or behavior and then relapsing. It can be getting lost in your negative thoughts and reacting emotionally towards thoughts and then that makes you think, oh, I'm not getting any better. It, a setback can be avoiding a routine, avoiding a routine that you know you want to do, that you really want to do, but you're avoiding it. Maybe it's a med meditation, maybe it's yoga, maybe it's journaling, whatever it is. Maybe it's avoiding TV, you know, you're doing something that you know, or something you know you shouldn't do, and then that, that triggers those feelings of I'm having a setback today is not going well or I may not even recover from this. I might not get to that place that you want to get to or that your mentors have gotten to, right? You, you might experience something during the day that may not even be your fault and you take that as a setback. Something happens to you. Something, someone argues with you. Someone, you know, you get into an accident that's not your fault. Whatever it is. And that can trigger that, those feelings of, I'm not going to get better. Things are not going to get better in my life. Right? So, setbacks are a good thing. And they are necessary for growth. Well, first of all, setbacks, failure, is always part of the deal. Whether you're overcoming an addiction, whether you're going through anxiety recovery, whether you're just improving on an aspect of your personality, you are going to fail. When you start something new, you are going to be bad at it. That's the way it is. You're going to be bad at it. Whether you go and take karate and you show up there, you're going to be bad at it because you don't know, right? You're a beginner. You begin to drive a car for the first time. You're going to be bad at it, right? It's brutal. There's this pain process that you have to push yourself through in order to gain the knowledge and gain the skills right and that's the tough part of that so first of all you're going to be bad at it and when you experience a setback a setback is a reminder of why you are on the path in the first place why you are here because you have this setback you experience all of, all of this negative emotion and you say wow this place is hell i don't want to be here this sucks and that is a driving force to improve yourself and to remain on this path towards recovery, right? And recovery is an up and down process. It's not this linear path. You, you, you're in this little bit of chaos, this hell that you're in, and that's where I was when I was suffering from health anxiety in the past. I was in this hell and I remained in this loop. But once I started to learn about anxiety and, and adopt mentors and 
learn about the tools necessary you know that's why you're here on this channel to learn about the tools and the knowledge all about this health anxiety and anxiety and self-improvement you start to move further away from this chaotic you this old you so you move further but then you you know you fail and then you get yourself back up and then you move over and then you fail again and then you fail and you move up and then you fail and it's up and down but here's the thing when you fail over here you're this much farther from the old you anyways and that's what anxiety sufferers fail to realize when they do have a serious setback or a failure is that you failed over here you're not the same person that you once were over here you're over here now you had a failure over here but let's look back on the journey what happened throughout that process right a lot lots of things happened you you are way further down the path than you were before when you were in that loop at least you're out of the loop at least you're going down this path and it's up and down up and down you're over here now that's that's improvement so sometimes you have to reach down and pull out the things that you accomplished on this journey in order to realize hey yeah I did improve in some way because anxiety sufferers get to the point when they have that setback and say to themselves I'm afraid I'm I won't be able to I'm afraid I won't be able to get to that point where Brad is I'm afraid I won't get to the point where I don't know Russell Brand is or Tony Robbins is or whoever your mentors are right but they had to go through the same thing so the failure that you're having right now the setback that you're having is the same type of setback your mentors me I've been through that I've gone through that pain those failures but that's when you pull out what you've done so far look back awareness of oh yeah I have been doing these new routines I am avoiding this much TV than I than the person I used to be who used to watch TV for five hours now I'm only watching TV for an hour a day and pulling out the things that you've improved on and that's a huge deal in this recovery journey and that's the part where a lot of people have difficulty with difficulty wrestling with those negative thoughts that are attached to those setbacks and it's a battle against the you that was there yesterday it's a battle against your old self right today's the day where you prove the older you wrong it's not about comparing yourself to those people like myself who've gotten to a better place in their life it's about comparing you to the person you were yesterday right how did you improve you have a setback today write down what you can improve on tomorrow how can you bounce back from this right and while you think about that reaching in and pulling out the things that have already improved in your life from this journey from this from this movement forward so constant reminders why are you doing this and if you're having difficulty with those reminders come back to my channel watch this video use my channel as a tool to advance yourself to the personality that you want to be the person that you've always wanted to be what do you want to manifest in your life right use this video as a tool you have a setback watch the video that's what I did when I had a setback I would go on YouTube to my mentors channel and then watch their videos because I fell back into the pain of my old ways and that was extremely distressing 
And then from that distress, I use that as motivation to say, I want to go back on YouTube. I want to go watch their videos. I don't want to be there, right? That's why setbacks are necessary. You get back into that old behavior or that old emotion and then you say to yourself, God, this sucks. This hell is so bad. I don't want to be here. And then that drives you forward towards your future self. And so awareness of the hell that you're in is crucial. I mentioned in my Groundhog Day a movie interpretation series, which you can check out on my podcast um, I think it's episode number, it starts at episode number 180, I believe. But anyways, in the movie, Phil, he keeps stepping into sludge puddles, right? He keeps, he avoids looking at what's making his days terrible, right? He's avoiding that. It's like he has these blinders on. And he keeps stepping into this sludge puddle. But then he starts to become aware of the sludge puddle. And then one day he jumps over it, right? It's through awareness. Look around. What are you doing daily that's keeping you stuck in this hell? Awareness is so important in recovery. Becoming aware of the actions and behaviors that you're doing repeatedly and then stopping them. But when you stop, it can be difficult, right? It takes a month, it takes two months, up to two months to ingrain a habit within you. So you have to do things repeatedly, new things. If you wanna do meditation, if you wanna do yoga, if you want to replace old thought patterns with new thought patterns, that is a repetitive journey. Where you have to keep doing it and then there's going to be days where you avoid it where you don't want to do it and then you don't do it and then you regret it and then you think oh I, i'm not i'm never going to overcome this challenge right so you have to stumble forward and then remind yourself oh this is why i'm here this is this is why i want to recover right i don't want to be in this hell and pull out all of the past accomplishments that you've done so far in this journey. And that's where I'm going to leave you on today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, use this video as a tool. Use my podcast as a tool. Use my channel, all of my videos as a tool to overcome anxiety naturally. Do not let anxiety define who you are. I will see you on the next video or podcast. Bye for now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so that whenever a new video of mine appears, you will be one of the first to know. Namaste.